Hi Capricorns, it's Abby. Welcome to your June 2022 reading. Um, this is the love focused reading, okay? I know we're kind of getting near the end of the month, but uh, so my intentions are for like the next 30 days after you find this reading, even if you find it past that. Um, hopefully if it resonates for you, it like if it rings, it rings, okay? Um, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is the Amira Love Oracle, which I'm using just to get some information about what your situation might be here, Capricorn. Um, so make sure, yeah, it might not be for everybody. Okay, so we have a couple different energies kind of at work here. So we have triangle indicating a crowded relationship of some kind or some choices that need to be made in a relationship. Um, when similar to how like we talk about third party situations don't mean to they don't always have to be cheating it can be that someone's um spending too much time at their work um they're always like we have communication texting phone calls and being online someone could be like super wrapped up in being online um maybe they're a content creator maybe they're just someone who's like kind of addicted to the internet or video games or something that they're doing um that's kind of keeping them online Okay, uh, we also have true love, pure love and honest connection. Um, so this makes me feel like while there might be some choices or it might feel like there's some, a lot of things kind of butting in on the relationship in a way, whether that's lots of work or it could be family members, friends, people with opinions, that kind of thing. Um, there's still like a lot of possibly communication. You could be talking to this person, texting them, messaging them, um, that kind of thing. So let's take a look a little bit more at what comes out here Capricorn um, if you're interested in winning a free reading there are rules in the description down below or if you want to book a reading um, there's also information on that okay so do whatever you want to do I'm just happy that you're here don't forget to check your sun your moon your rising um, if this doesn't resonate or you just want more okay so let's take a quick look I'm going to do two quick spreads um, and I don't do extendeds right now, so my second spread will look at, whoop, that was weird. <laughs> it's going to look at sort of like what your person's thinking and feeling and actions as they kind of come out into the future, Capricorn, okay? So stick around to the end if you wanna see that. So let's see here. Thanks to my returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, feel free to watch a few readings before you decide to commit and like, you know, subscribe, but we'd love to have you here. So what's kind of happening under the surface? Okay, so 10 of pentacles energy. Okay, so this feels like there's, okay, there's a sense of family and legacy. Money could be a big focus on something here. I'm also feeling like someone could have a feeling like they inherited something when it comes to love and relationships. Um, I don't know if that means that they feel like it's like bad luck or good luck, or maybe that there's a pattern that they see themselves repeating uh, that kind of has been almost passed down to them. But that's another thing that's coming to me with this Ten of Pentacles energy, because a lot of the time it has to do with legacy. Um, so it's not just what we're doing now, it's like having enough to leave behind. So that feels like yeah, that feels like that's something. Um, but central to everything here, we have Seven of Wands energy. So this feels like Capricorn, you've probably, I feel like you're almost a little bit out of reach in a way. Um, now, I feel like this is probably because you hold very, um, like really good, healthy standards for the people that you date. Um, I feel like there's probably an untouchable, a little bit of an untouchable air Okay, um, I feel like you may have also been working on things like promotion, getting your money right. This could be you um, wanting to leave a legacy behind. Okay, so you could have been working really hard um, to kind of get a promotion in line or to make some sort of change or move up the sort of ladder in some kind of way. Okay, in your crossing energy, you have the Knight of Cups. So this feels like love has kind of taken a back seat is what I want to say. There could be a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio person or someone with those placements um, who you've had some issues with, or it could be that that was someone that um, you had an interest with. Um, you could even still have an interest with them. This doesn't necessarily have to be that there was an issue. 
it could just be that it's like they're present but it's like nothing really kind of happens like there's um something that doesn't really kind of come all the way through right because it's almost like getting the knight of cups reversed and it depends on how you read reversals but reversals for me can be um just like it's not completely expressing itself something that wants to come through but it's blocked um where it's only kind of half-assing it right it's not really kind of fully coming through and making its intentions known so i have that kind of feeling um if someone's been like that with you they could have given you the impression that maybe it's it's made you kind of think like um well if they're not kind of all in and they're not all out do they have other people like what are they doing <laughs> like it's it's perhaps made you feel a little defensive and kind of like um make yourself a little unavailable right on purpose and i feel like that's probably just to be uh protective i feel like uh everything here is kind of the basis of everything here is five of wands energy so this um feels to me like there could be some kind of I wanted to say working relationship. I don't know why. This can be like a, uh, the five of wands can be a card of conflict, either internal or external. Um, so with other people or within ourselves. Um, it can also be a card that is about like sort of like training and getting ready for the next big step. So like putting in a lot of work in something. So it could be that the connection is kind of um, defined by that period of life where you're just kind of maybe both people are working really hard on other things in their life and so there's like a bit of a conflict when it comes into what is the you know what's the love stuff gonna be but it's also a chance at i'm wanting to say some good luck for you i mean in the mind space we have four of wands energy in like your strength and crowning energy in this reading so this is a possibility of leveling all the way up of benefiting for someone i feel like someone could also there's this something about someone maybe getting an inheritance i don't know if that's a house um i don't know if it's a a, a little sum of money or something like that i keep coming back to this thing of an inheritance and it feels like it's something that might end up aiding the situation i'm curious if you live at a distance from the person that you're interested in like you're not in the same city or state or country um, or in the same area, whatever that is. Um, yeah, interesting that was coming to me there. But this feels like you may be sort of thinking more so about sort of what the next step is um, or wanting to have some sort of a bit of a leveling up and like a nice little rest stop before the rest of the journey where it's like, I want to get up, right? I've been climbing the ladder here. <laughs> I've been putting in a lot of work and energy with the, with the way that I've been feeling about things here. And I want some sort of payoff. I want to be able to celebrate it. I want, I want to be able to like, you know, um, feel like it's something that can be recognized in maybe an event or some kind of real acknowledgement is what I'm getting here. Well, you have to work with you. Capricorn to Sagittarius energy with the temperance card in the back over here. So this feels like there's been a lot of waiting and patience for one is one of the readings, uh, meanings of temperance. Um, but it's also an energy of, I feel like it's almost like accepting the divine timing in a way that is a little different from something like the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is feels more like things can turn on a dime. We're up, we're down. Next thing we know, like our fortune changes, right? Um, this feels like an energy of like, look, time's gonna pass anyway. And whether or not this person gets off their butt and makes their intentions known, you're still wanting um, to have something in a relationship that's a worthwhile thing, right? <laughs> I feel like you want your everything in your life, Capricorn, to be of good quality is what I'm getting here, um, including your connections to other people. So it feels like there's a bit of an acceptance that you may now have to work with that if there was a feeling of sort of conflict and not being really sure where things are going, that kind of energy, um, you may have come to a sort of sense of peace because you're like, I'm not wasting my time figure like standing by to wait for this person to come around or to wait for any person to come around. I want true love. I want people who communicate effectively, right? I'm, I don't want to have to worry about where I stand and guess. That's not what I'm going for here. Okay, um, 
we have then you what's coming towards you is two of wands so this feels like there could be some kind of um i feel like it's choosing a path of some kind okay um there's a couple paths that are um sort of almost they're presenting themselves to you in a way i'm also getting this sense of you and another person having a chance encounter and realizing that you're on sort of intersecting paths. Interesting. So it's kind of like, I don't know if that means that you like, you take a trip or you do something or you catch up with someone, um, perhaps someone that you've known for a period of time, maybe from an old job, maybe through a new um, connection. I'm not sure what this is, but it, I'm getting this sort of two paths in a wood that are like running parallel to each other but there's a wood in between them so you can't see each other and then the path comes together okay so it feels like there could be some kind of um and these guys are looking at each other the the dragon's heads here so it feels like you might be what comes up to you it's a bit of a choice but it doesn't feel like it's a deliberative choice it feels like it's more like oh who's this and then you're kind of um getting to know each other which is interesting stuff. Um, in your perspective right now, we have moon energy. So on the situation, I feel like you're just kind of following your instincts with this energy. It could be feeling like um, you may have a sense of someone possibly being like, it is a little suspicious, I do have to say. Um, you may just kind of suspect that there are things going on that you don't know about, okay? Um, the moon card, I'm not sure if this is a really negative energy from what I'm healing, feeling here. I feel like you just have a sense that there's more going on than the, what you know about. But at the same time, I'm, I don't feel like you're really in the mood to pry. And you just want this per like, if so there's something you need to, need to know, you're kind of leaving it up to this person to tell you, whatever it is. But I feel like you have a, a little bit of an intuitive knowing here, Capricorn, that like something's not quite exactly as it seems, or there could be some other factors that are affecting things that maybe you didn't know about. Um, and you're just kind of like, okay, like, that feels a little weird, but it's not my responsibility. It's their responsibility is kind of what I'm feeling. And what the universe knows, but you don't, you have the judgment card. So um, the, the thing that you might not know, someone here is going through a very spiritual um, kind of awakening of some kind. They're it, maybe starting a whole new chapter in their life. And it could be something that's like a really big, significant thing. They're like right in the realization of oh man, I, the, the clock's ticking, <laughs> I have to get on this stuff or it's going to slip away. Um, it could be that they're completing cycles or making amends with people from their past. Um, I'm also wanting to say that they could have Scorpio energy somewhere in the chart that you know about. Might not also, but it feels like there's like this second, this real rebirth kind of energy. Um, so it feels like what you can't see because it's not... Um, part of yeah that feels like part of what m you might not know is like if this person's being kind of like distant or aloof or they're not really communicating very well it could really just be that they they have a lot of things happening that are a big big stinky freaking deal for them with the judgment card okay with hopes and fears we have uh two of swords so i just feel like this is having a bit of a fear of a stalemate I'm um, just always being in this sense of not really knowing what's going on and being a little unsure about that, right? Um, there is an ability to unblind ourselves, but this isn't your fears. So this isn't stuff that's actually real. It's more the stuff that we worry about or we hope for. In what's to come, we have the Ten of Swords. So that is the end of a tough cycle or a cycle that was challenging, okay? Um, so this feels like there's a new dawn on the horizon. The way that things end is there's something that's so dead, it's so over, and it could be, for some of you, it could be sure a relationship. For others, it can just be like a stage in a relationship where something is just like the cycle's done, it's over with, um, things are just different. I also want to say like there's this sense of like, you have these really prosperous cards. I keep getting the sense of maybe someone who has some kind of turn of fate maybe you were them but i feel like probably more them and it could have to do with an inheritance 
a ch an abrupt change of job or something like that. This could be possibly the, the like, I don't know if you're in a different place and you guys move to the same place or something like that. Um, like something makes it possible. Interesting stuff. Okay. So if you stuck with me this long, you're a real one. Thank you so much. I'm going to do your second spread now. So I'm just going to look quickly at what you and this person are kind of thinking and feeling about each other. So what's going on, please, for Capricorn and their person? We want to see what they think and feel towards each other, please, as well as the actions that they are taking when it comes to the other person. Spirit, you know the spread. Okay. I felt like cutting it for some reason, so we just go with our instincts here. I already kind of like it. Oh, okay then. Well, all right. See what I was saying about how it feels like there's something in a chance thing involved with the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, so I'll just go through this quickly. So I feel like you have here Capricorn, I'm gonna talk to your, your side here on the right. Like this is you, of course it's a general reading, so flip it if it makes sense. But I'm gonna address this other side as your person and the right, right side is you. Um, yeah, Knight of Pentacles energy, so this feels like this is something that has taken its damn time for some reason. It just hasn't quite come together. Um, not necessarily totally bad or totally good, but I feel like there's been some confusion and some mistrust that has been brewing because of the fact that it's taken so long to come together, right? It's almost like that energy of like, um, well, if this isn't happening, there have to be reasons for it, right? And then like making up a bunch of scenarios about what those reasons are. Uh, rather than just talking about it. Um, okay, so you're seeing this person as fool energy. Now, for one, I feel like this is more so your perspective on who this person is. Um, I feel like they seem like a lighthearted, hopeful, optimistic kind of person. I feel like in your mind space, you seek qualities in their personality that you admire. Um, that are very like they can sort of change on a dime in a moment's notice. They don't need to fit into the crowd. They're able to do their own thing. Okay. And they're like a master of new beginnings in a way. Like they, they can put on all kinds of different hats and kind of go with it. Um, and I feel like you like that about this person. I really do. In sort of their thoughts about you, they see you as like the word of like honest as hell. <laughs> I feel like that could be a little bit of why maybe this person is, um, they feel like almost that you, they don't want to waste your time because I feel like they can tell that you're someone who will not tolerate that um, and that you're just so honest, okay? Um, there also could be someone for some reason they might be dealing with sickness or there could be someone in their family who's been dealing with some kind of sickness that could have involved procedures or some kind of treatment side message take it or toss it whatever um but yeah they see you as being really straightforward really to the point capricorn and i think they really admire it they really do uh in your feelings towards each other you've got the tower so i feel like there's a bit of a um tearing down of your expectations of this person they could have surprised you they could have thrown you off kilter at other times um and there it could have been something about this connection that felt very unexpected and like surprising and they see you they're very attracted to you i feel like their emotions um there's something about this connection that makes them not only feel attracted and desired um they feel desired by you at times and they also feel so attracted to you there's something about that that really brings in um, a sense of confidence for them and it feels like they're able to be their own person and like sort of light their own fire and flame and i feel like there's a lot of confidence that they gain through seeing you do what you do capricorn however you do it in the way that you're sort of behaving towards each other, you have the High Priestess and they have the Ten of Cups. So this feels like this person is um, going through some changes in the ends of cycles as far as the things that are making them happy. It's a lot of... I'm wanting to say that it could be like... 
they might be in a very a place where they're chasing their happiness and i feel like they're giving you that vibe you can tell that this is someone who's committed to finding their happiness whatever that is for some people it's family for others it's not and family can look like all different things but it feels like they're really kind of showing you that they're willing to take risks to get what they want and yeah i feel like what you're showing them is maybe a little um a little secretive you might not be sharing a whole lot with them or communicating a whole lot with them right now you may have taken more of a stance of pulling back and relying on what you already know in the situation um and sort of just like trying to trust that and trust your inner your inner guidance more than really trying to engage too much in this mm, right because there's something about this sort of celebratory reason here um This feels like you have an understanding of something. Yeah, this is so marriagey. Capricorn, you may have wanted to marry this person, but I feel like you're keeping this a secret or you could have seen them as like an actual partner, like a for real husband, wife, life partner. But I feel like with the high priestess, you're not telling them this. I'm going to give you guys hidden truth oracles at the end of this, okay? Um, now, the connection itself is being sort of categorized by emperor energy, okay? So, for some reason, I'm wanting to tell you that both people in this connection have ambitious energies, okay? Um, now, I don't like to get into the whole, like, eh, it's not balanced, you know, you need to have a right balance of masculine and feminine. Every part, like, you can get two really masculine people together regardless if they're, like, a man and a woman or two women or two men or two whatever, two they thems. I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> but it, this feels like a couple of people who are, like, very ambitious and, mas and like, have some of that energy, this sort of, like, go-getter-y energy as we would look at it in this. Could be just Aries energy as well. I feel like this is really wanting to build confidence in things. Um, this relationship or this connection might be sort of one of those journeys in life that when you look back upon it and try to figure out what the meaning was, it was like, it was all about creating a plan and seeing it through, okay? Actually seeing it through, not just thinking about it, wanting it, creating a new, 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 like the Empress is this very new beautiful harvest energy the emperor like the empress creates and the emperor completes is the way that i see it so it's like they're two sides of the same coin really um and i feel like this is a lot about there's something about follow through that's really important in this connection you have the wheel of fortune in the sort of like future development of the relationship and this feels like chance luck um something changing someone's fortune changing someone's circumstances changing um and in a way that is not necessarily expected interestingly enough the okay so the 10 of okay this feels like it's a time that up comes where the emperor kind of comes in as an energy that's sort of like someone needs to take control of this and um, make this happen is kind of what I'm feeling here. And then the 10, this Wheel of Fortune feels like, okay, and now it's time. The time arrives for that to happen. Tell me more about this. Ah, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. Okay, so someone could travel from a distance. It could also be a truth that's shared very, very um, bluntly. I feel almost like there could be, um, you could have a chance encounter or meet up with this person again, and you guys actually might have, like, like a fight, almost. I'm wanting to say this feels almost like a play fight, but it's actually the first time that everything's kind of out in the open. You're kind of bickering at each other, but at the same time, it's like you're expressing everything really honestly for the first time, and then it's just kind of like, oh that's what you thought yeah it is dummy god you didn't see that i was into you oh my god you know what i mean well no i thought that you were like this well i don't know like 
oh, I had this other stuff going on. Well, I didn't know about that. Like, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It feels cute, Capricorn. You've had a few cute readings. I mean, everybody, it's a mix, right? Like, sometimes people get cute as hell readings. Sometimes they get challenging readings. I feel like if you've had a couple real cute ones. I'm just going to take a message of love. Is there something here that the Capricorns watching need to see or hear for their greatest good and highest outcome? Vulnerability. Sagittarius had this as well right before you. If you or your person has Sagittarius, you might want to watch it. But it's you can be completely open with this person. I feel like there's a bit of, yeah, there's a need for honesty. And I think they see you as someone who's like a total sharpshooter. Um, you might be someone who's so honest that they're kind of like, I don't know if I can handle it, right? Like, it could be one of those that they're like a sensitive person. Can we do a hidden truth for each of these individuals, please, for Capricorn, for their person? So this is truths that you may have keep in, uh, kept from the other person. We have on your side, I want to be more than friends. Um, so this could be someone that you've had a friendship with that things just may not have taken that step. They just maybe didn't evolve that way. Oh, okay. Um, they had this kind of energy. This says, I wish I could share my good news with you. So they, with this Ace of Swords, they could be really wanting to talk and communicate. Um, and it could very well be something that they have achieved, something that's really good. Um, but they might be kind of like, I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's going to be received well. I don't know if they're going to care. Like, I don't know. Um, so there could be something there about that. Okay, Capricorn, this is what I got for you this time. I hope there was something in here that was helpful to you, even if the whole reading wasn't your message, that there was at least like some guidance. If you want to check out your other signs or placements or even a past Capricorn reading, feel free. Um, if you want to subscribe, I would love to have you. If you have any interest in winning the Summer Solstice free reading contest, there are rules in the description box down below. Make sure you follow those rules. Um, and... Yeah, I hope I get to read for you again, whether it's in a private reading, um, if you win the free reading, if you book on my website, or if you just come by the channel again. I'm more than happy to read for you again, and I hope we get to uh, cross paths again in the future, Capricorn. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.